Hey guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet. This is my furry feline Raven. Can you say hello, Raven? She's 14 years old. She's little Miss Prius. You going? Are you leaving? Okay. All right. So I just wanted to pop in and say hello. Um, I took the day off today. I woke up a little sick. I have mentioned in a couple of my videos, um, I'm always going to maybe mention a little bit about my health, but I don't really want to dedicate a video solely on my health because it's a drag, it's a bummer, this is supposed to be a happy channel. I suffer from gastritis. Um, I'm only 36, I'm already suffering from hot flashes since November 2019. They're small and they don't last more than 30 seconds, but they're starting to become a little bit more, more intense. I love carrying these fans around. Look what I found today. And it says, Hallelujah. I got this from Dollar Tree today. About half an hour after I called my boss and told him I wasn't coming in today, I was having constipation, menstrual pain, along with my hot flashes, dry heaves from my gastritis pain. It's not fun. Um, <clears throat> you know how <clears throat> if you've ever had food poisoning and you, you, you feel weak, you don't want to eat it, eat anything and your and your stomach has like a dull pain you almost feel like you're gonna throw up that's how I feel every single day because of my gastritis it sucks I've gotten used to it but I'm slowly I'm slowly being able to change my diet it's just very difficult because I have low thyroid um, and the antidepressant that my doctor put me on to boost my thyroid levels doesn't seem to be helping in my pain and, and it hasn't helped me to eat more than a thousand calories a day so that's the main reason why I've lost 80 pounds over the last year and why I had to get my gallbladder removed as well because I had a, I had a um, gallbladder attack on May 8th, 2020. COVID did not exist in, in my life because of all my medical issues with my gallbladder and my gastritis I was dealing with and I had to have my gallbladder removed. Um, I had to get two iron infusions. Um, my doctor said I almost died, which I didn't feel... Like it was that extreme, I just felt extremely weak and um, was, was barely able to function even though I was still going to work. Um, I just wasn't doing a lot of heavy lifting and stuff. Um, but I had to get two iron infusions, one week apart, um, not to mention you know other treatments and other medications and all this stuff. But anyways, um, 30 minutes after I called my boss, um, one of my best friends, I've known him for like 14 years, he's my carpentry buddy, he made me this table, I'll show you guys that more thoroughly in another video. He's also the guy that put my white shelves up. Um, I showed you guys that in another video, but I'll go ahead and show you again because I know there are a lot of new subscribers and um, some of you guys would like to see my other yarn shelves. And I do have my bedroom shelves organized, um, and so I'll show you guys that as well. So sorry about my rambling. Anyways, my friend invited me out to lunch. His name is Randall. Um, he's a professional carpenter. He runs his own business now. He does such amazing work. Um, so we went out to Slotchkis. Uh, I was surprised I was able to eat. Normally I don't eat anything until 4 p.m. Um, whether that's a milkshake or um, some apple slices and pretzels. I get those little snack packs from Walmart. With the little pretzels and the, and the cheese and the apple slices. And that right there, that's about all I can eat in a meal itself. Um, the apples are good for you if you have stomach pain. The apples are good to fight bad bacteria. Um, natural beans, kidney beans, black beans, red beans, and then, of course, your good, healthy, leafy greens. No iceberg lettuce because there's no nutritional value, but um, any of those sorts of things, those are really good for your stomach. And mint, a little tiny bit of mint goes well on an upset stomach. It'll help, the mint helps settle your stomach muscles. So anyways, we went to Slosky's, and then he had to run an errand, and then I went to Dollar Tree. I was very disappointed. They did not have any yarn, but I did get a couple things. And including this fan I've been using. I need to turn my AC up, I guess, because I'm I feel like I'm having a hot flash right now. Um ooh, stuff just went flying. I love getting these tissues. There's eight packages, and it's only a dollar. And this is the cheapest tissue I can find for so many in a pack. And this is actually good quality. It's two ply tissue and it's it doesn't feel like paper. It it feels comfortable enough on my nose. I use baking soda for my cat's litter box. It helps keep the odor down. And I also keep some of this in the fridge to keep um, odors down. Dental floss. 
I cannot find dental floss less than a dollar anywhere else. This is like three dollars a month at the regular grocery store. It's crazy. <clears throat> okay, yarn related. These are silicone finger thimbles. These are great when you're using a darning needle and you're weaving in your ends and everything, or even if you're using a sharp needle and you're doing some hand sewing with um, yarn to fabric or two fabrics together, whatever, these are great. So you can grip the needle a lot easier. It won't slide through your fingers and you won't, you'll be more protected. Of course, you won't poke yourself. So I got a couple of these and um, once I reach 500 subscribers, I'll be putting one of these in my giveaway. Uh, I found some metallic markers. I got a few colors. Silver, and then I think I got like a rose gold color, and then like a like a reddish mauve kind of. Maybe a copper, I'm not sure. I got those three colors. I got a placemat for my cat for her food for her food and water. This would be good for dogs too. It's pretty much the size of a of a dinner tray really disappointed they didn't have any yarn. I looked far and wide. I got a loofah. I always like using those. I got some more tissue. I got a whole bunch of these. It's not very often I get the Dollar Tree. So I got lots of tissues. And then I got some straws. I like my straws. So they had some knitting needles, but they were like super, super tiny. Way too tiny for me to use because to me, knitting just takes forever. I feel like I can get through crochet a lot quicker, which is why I'm gonna make a really good blanket for my sister, Sophia. I'm gonna have that ready for her in um, September for her birthday. So the pattern I chose to use is from MJ's Off The Hook Designs. I will have that link in the description box below. To practice the pattern for the first time, I made a scarf. It's a checkered pattern. I think it's gorgeous. What I used was the, the Nordic yarn from Ice Yarns all the pinks in there, that's from one ball of yarn. And then I used um, the gray macaroon from Ice Yarns. And then I used a little bit of my sparkle yarn. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's right above the ramp. You guys can't see it. I'll show you what I used. I mixed in some of this yarn. This is a number two, two. I think they're out right now. But it's got some lyrics in it for some great sparkle, and I added that in with the macaroon to work it together because the um, the pink Nordic is a number five, and the macaroon is a very very thick chunky number three, so it's equal to a number four. And then with adding in the sparkle lyrics, it's pretty much the same size as the Nordic. And then the white, <clears throat> I've never used the white before, um, as far as softly baby. That's what I used. I used Softly Baby. It's it's um it's acrylic and polyamide, so it's super soft. But it's a number two, so I tripled it up and worked at it and with three strands at a time, so it would have the same thickness consistency as the pink Nordic and the gray, and it came out perfect. And you can see the sparkle in it. <clears throat> now let me step back a little bit. I don't know if I want to add fringe to this or not. I left the tail on because I'm still undecided. So let me know what you think. Do I should should I add fringe onto this, or should I just leave it as is? I think it's so gorgeous. It's long enough, and I like how thick it is. It wraps around the neck really nice. But I don't know if I want fringe on it or not. So give me your opinion if you don't mind. Should I add fringe or no? Um, I got this T-shirt today. I got this from Sports Academy. It was next door to um, Dollar Tree. This is only a $5 t-shirt. They've got patriotic t-shirts on sale, $4.99 at um, Sports Academy. Uh, it's a 2X, a little bit too big for me, so it'll be a nice lounge and sleep shirt. And yes, I do believe I'm very, very blessed. I have been so blessed to be able to buy all of this yarn to put in my very own apartment that I have my very own space to do whatever I want freely when I'm not working. So. I'm going to gently remove you from my phone stand. I'll go ahead and show you what I'm putting you guys on to. This is what I clip the phone into, and this is bendable, and then this clips onto anything. And I just I just put it on something. So okay. If you guys get dizzy easily, close your eyes. I don't want to make anybody sick, because Lord knows that's one of the worst feelings in the world. 
So this is my living room shelves that he put up a few weeks ago. So I have my Lorena number threes, my Lorena. I've got some um, Angora Active Rainbow, more Lorena. And then I've got Picasso, the green and purple, the purple and blue, some rainbow Picassos, blue and turquoise. And then I've got my Baby Twist white and black rainbow. And I am ordering some more Baby Twist, which well, I have already ordered it. Um, they have a, a gray rainbow. I ordered a few packages of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you into my other area where I have my other bookshelves. So bear with me. Okay, there's where you what you normally see. Doo -doo -doo, here we go. Here's my other area. I got a kind of a mess in here. Okay, here's my other shelves. My little turtle up here. Turtle, turtle. This is all macaroon up top. There's the gray macaroon I used in my scarf. This is all personal yarn that I've collected from Walmart over the years. Some of it's caked up. And then of course most of this is ice yarns right here. All of my solid colors for the most part. And I've got some cones down here and some yarn from Joann's and Hobby Lobby that I bought. There's some yarn from Hershner's and Annie's catalog mixed in. This is from Walmart. Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, so it's kind of mixed in. And then I have this shelf here where when I have crochet items made up, I have a place to store them. In the meantime, I have yarn right here stored as well. I don't, I've got a little bit of yarn in here, just because I don't know where to put it yet. Uh, there's a scarf I made up. That's a hood scarf. And then I've got some yarn in here. These, that's a number three weight, anti-peeling gray. I bought this from uh, Hershner's website. And it's got that um, Oeco text on it, which means it's safe for even sensitive skin and babies. So this is a good anti-peeling everyday DK. And you can wash and dry this. It's anti-peeling acrylic. Um, so I have a lot of plans for this yarn, including blankets for friends and stuff. I'm going to make like a hexagon blanket for a friend because he loves diamond plate, uh, my carpenter friend. So anyways, that's it that I have for now. Um, I'm going to order my skip stitch blade and my piercing crochet hook so I can get that t-shirt done. I want to get those sleeves crocheted because I know what stitch I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Irish lace crochet stitch. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, skip two stitches and repeat. And that's going to be the stitch I use for the sleeves. It's going to be lacy and so pretty. I just, I'm just frustrated I can't, that I haven't already had it done. Um, I think I'm going to look around for my tools today and I'm going to place an order for some new tools. And um, I've got to pay my electric bill and get some other business done. Um, just feeling kind of crappy. Like I said, I took the day off, you know. I'm, I was able to eat a sandwich, so I'm feeling better for the most part, but um, once I take care of business and do a couple things, I'm going to rest for the rest of the evening. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching me. I really appreciate you liking this video. If you like my content, please subscribe, hit the bell for more notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Um, I really do appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for being here and sharing my love of crochet. I can't wait to show you guys um, everything I'll be working on soon. Love you all. Bye.